Hello, beautiful souls, divine beings. Welcome in this lovely space with me. Forgive me the light. It's Mercury retrograde and my light is doing a little bit difficult. So it's going to be like this for now. So my dear beautiful souls, today I have for you someone's reading. And this reading is for anyone who feels defeated in a sense. And spirit is really coming through here with this message of Tap into your warrior. Find that warrior within. Tap into your strength and find that strength within. Because you are a warrior and you are extremely strong. And you have come so far. You have fought so many battle battles already. Don't give up now. Don't give up now. I get this image of a lion with the, with the, with the message of you have come so far. You didn't come this far to give up now. Because there is there is also there are a lot of opportunities around you. There are a lot of doors around you that want to open. And you I feel you where you are. I feel you um You struggle through a lot. Your path is, is, a, is a difficult one. And at this moment, for whomever this is, you feel defeated and you feel like giving up in a sense. But you also know if you look into your past, the moment into your past, the moments that you felt like giving up, at all times your warrior woke up again. And this is also really what Spirit is asking from you now. And it's very important in this moment because so many doors are opening up around you. And it's they are yours to open. So be there to open them. Don't give up now. Find that warrior and find that strength because you are a warrior and you are extremely strong. If it's difficult for you to get out of this place, then acknowledge the warrior within yourself. Acknowledge your strength. Look back into your past. Look back in all the battles you fought already. Look what you have struggled through, what you have battled through. Look at that and acknowledge yourself for it. And things are changing. There are beautiful doors of opportunity opening up around you and they are well deserved. They are rewards for you, so don't give up. This is really not the moment to give up. And spirit is coming through very strong here. Don't give up. And again, I get this image of this lion. I didn't come this far to give up now. So let's see what else, because um, someone really needs to hear this. And this is an acknowledgement that is coming through from spirit. It's an acknowledgement that is coming through from your team. It's an acknowledgement that is coming through from your ancestors. It's an acknowledgement that is coming through from your own soul. You are a warrior and you are extremely strong. Stand in that strength and stand, stand here exactly where you are now in the warrior that you are. So you can see the doors that are opening up for you around you. And again, I feel you, I feel, and I feel this double energy here because I really feel you also in the feeling of, I feel defeated. I've tried so much, I've done so much and nothing is working. It's still the same. It seems like that, but it's not. And this is also your mind that is trying to, to pull you back into a version of you that does not exist anymore. So be aware of that. 
but there is this this feeling of pff, it doesn't matter what I do it doesn't matter what I try it doesn't work that feeling is there and on the other side there is so much excitement that is here and these are the doors that are opening up for you and this is your team and and your guidance and your own soul that is coming through it come on you got this you got this you came here for a reason you came here with a mission your soul chose to go through this lifetime and your soul knows how strong you are that's also why your path is so difficult so once more Find that warrior and find that strength and stand in it. Stand in it in all your grace, I also hear. In all your honor. Honor to yourself. Again, not from a place of ego. But don't even have to say that in here. It's just this. Acknowledge yourself. And just make sure that you are open f open to, to see what is around you now. What is opening up for you now. You got this. You got this. And you are not doing this only for you. You are... The, the impact of what you have done already is... Is big every act you did it has a ripple effect and you are clearing out things for your ancestors you are clearing out uh, traumas you you have been doing so much and this has on an unseen level it has had already such a massive effect and now this also wants to come in into your seen reality. So be there. Exactly where you are right now. But from a place of acknowledging. Acknowledgement. Honor. see what is here the world it's a completion it's a completion the thinking woman There, this is a message for, for someone to read. You have recently read something that, that it got you. It's in a positive way. It was something that really, it stirred up something within you that was of a very strong vibration in a very positive way. Or maybe you have, you, you wrote it even. There is something with the with the spoken, uh, with the written language that you recently saw or have written down, and spirit is asking you to read that again, to read that and to feel that. And the world again. <clears throat> This is a big, big completion of a very long cycle. And in style, I hear. 
and in style. And I said this in my collective and it's this now really collectively we are in this big endings, big new beginnings. And also for you, something big is ending here. Archangel Michael is coming through also here and in this deck he's referring to the to the root chakra and what I feel in here is not going into your ego but really finding that strength look at him look at at him he's an archangel but there is a warrior inside of him also and he he cuts through all the BS he cuts through all the bullshit and he sees the truth for what it is and spirit is coming through here to to see that to see the truth of yourself cut through the bullshit in a positive way see yourself for who you are again you are you are a warrior and you are extremely strong see that and stand in there embody that like you did so many times already do it once more exactly where you are right now and if it's difficult call in archangel michael to show you the truth to show you the truth of who you are which is a lot more than just a warrior and a very strong individual soul spirit it's a lot more than that but in this moment where you are now in your human experience what's been asked from you is to stand in your truth which is your warrior and your strength and to acknowledge that that's what's been asked from you now and it comes through strong so whomever i'm speaking to you you understand this language meaning you understand this frequency which with which i am speaking to you it's not coming from a place of of trying to to put you down it's just this it's the words are strong and the energy is strong and it's supposed to resonate with that strength that same energy within you that is there and that has for a moment um, stepped aside so with speaking to you like this I'm calling that in you are calling that in if you are receiving this message you are calling in that energy within you which is the energy the vibration of your warrior and of your strength of your courage And what I also feel here with Archangel Michael is what I I think I said it already that your your old self that is that is it's it's dead already. But what you are experiencing now feels very similar to moments in your past. And it seems the same. It can feel the same, but it's not the same because you are not the same. You have grown a lot. And each and every time you went through moments like this, you found your warrior again and you, 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 you have grown through that. And you have become even stronger through that. And your soul and your team is cheering you up, cheering you up with each and every challenge you took. With each, with each and every battle that you took. I'm falling over my words because, there, like I say, there is a lot of energy that that wants to come through here and this is it's your energy this is what is it's a very potent energy that is very present within you and when you feel defeated that energy has just stepped aside for a moment and it's not actually the energy that stepped aside it's your soul that chooses in each and every moment what am i 
And if you choose to identify with the feelings of being defeated, then you step out of that energy of strength and courage and the warrior. Which doesn't mean it's not there anymore, because in each and every moment we can choose again. In each and every moment we can make a choice. What am I and what do I choose to identify myself with? And for you, in this specific moment, your team, your team and spirit is coming through to ask you to choose to identify with the warrior that is very alive within you. And that has fought battles far worse than the one you are battling now. The fact that you feel so defeated now is because it has been a lot in throughout your whole life, but now the last maybe the last two years it I, it feels like it has been a lot in a very <clears throat> very short period of time. It's like one thing after the other. Challenge, going through it, standing up, having a moment to breathe and being challenged again. And going again for it, going through it, standing, breathing and challenge again. And you had quite a lot in the last, I hear the last two years here. But I feel for you this is, this is... Um, Your, your, this lifetime for you has been a very challenging one. But your soul chose that for a reason. And again, this is not only about you. You are taking a lot here for your team. which goes far. It goes through dimensions and it goes through lifetimes. I'm being pulled again to this book. This is really, this is an important message for someone. So this recently you saw something that you have that you have read or that you have wrote written down read that again if that is not um for you then there is also a message in here it might also be helpful to just um if you have books to the first book that catches your attention to open that up and and read the spirit is speaking you also through the spoke through the I'm falling over my words spirit is speaking to you through the written word Or there is a certain book that you want to read or you have started to read and then stopped again. If so, it might be the moment to pick up that book again. Or also for some, what I said already, this to look into your past and to see how far you've come, to see what you have, what you went through already. It might also be helpful to write that down. Because if you write that down, whenever you feel defeated, you can read that again. Because if you feel defeated, it's we we are in a in a specific state of mind that it's more difficult, and in that state of mind, it's more difficult to recall the opposite of what we are feeling. 
But if it's written down, it's, it's easy. You can read it. You just have to read it. You don't have to recall anything. So that might also be helpful for someone. Balance. <clears throat> And I feel in here with balance that balance is coming in for you, but it's also important to hold balance within. You are extremely strong, you are a strong warrior, but it's also very important to don't go into extremes, to fight so much and then um, losing, having lost all of your strength. So, keep that balance. Which is more easy said than done, because I'm, I'm being pulled back again to, to what I feel in here, like challenge, um, going through the challenge, standing up, reading next challenge. So it's difficult to... to to balance that out because the circumstances are just being thrown at you and you have to deal with them. But even there, even there within those challenges, <clears throat> always try to, to find a balance within, which, which is, it doesn't have anything to do with our circumstances. So if a challenge comes your way, there is always there is always a moment to, for example, a challenge comes your way, but you are, you are um, very emotional in that moment. You can try to deal with the challenge from out of that emotional state, or you can just take a moment, it doesn't have to be long, just a moment to find peace within, to connect to God, Source, Spirit, Fill up your cup, which is the fuel you need to walk through your life, especially if it's very challenging. So fill up your cup from the right place. And when you feel that your cup is filled from the right place, and then go, then solve the challenge. And this creates automatically balance. So this balance is also leading you back, or it, the message in here is leading you back to always come back to connecting to God, Source, Spirit, and make sure that you fill up your cup daily or on a very regular basis from the right place. So you are fueled. And I hear running on a dry engine. So it's that. You have probably been running on a dry engine and, and not taking the best care for yourself. Although you tried. You try. But it's difficult. Because it has been so challenging. Which I also understand. But it's this. This is so important to fill up our cup from the right place. Again, especially if we if if the our roads are challenging, because we need that fuel, and if we don't fuel up from the right place, we are running on a dry engine. And there you get physically, emotionally, energetically drained. So that is also a big message in here. But what I also feel in here is that balance is returning to you also from your outside world. Because it has been um, strongly out of balance. Again, this challenge after challenge after challenge after challenge. It's been tough. And I feel you in there. I really do. So there is a, a very soft... It's a beautiful card also. It's a very soft energy that is coming through with this. I hope you see it with the light. Can I read this? There. 
it's a very soft and sweet and gentle um, energy that is in here. And what I said in the beginning, because I said, stand in your grace, while I actually wanted to say, stand in your honor. And with this stand in your grace, what I feel with this grace is wings. I feel wings that are surrounding you, that are protecting you, and that are holding you safe. And there is also an invitation in here to connect to that. You are, although it may seem like that, that you are walking this alone, you are not walking this alone. Again, your whole team is here cheering you on. And there is also an invitation in here to connect more to that and to feel, to feel how supported you are, to feel these wings that are protecting you and that are holding you and that are always there for you. And it comes together with this connection this daily moment of, of connection, communion with God, source, spirit, and with your team. And when you do that, when you fill up your cup from there, you also feel this presence that is always there with you. No matter what you do, no matter what you, where you go through, no matter what happens, you are never, ever alone. So there is an invitation in here to connect more to that and to experience, to feel, to really feel that and allow yourself to feel that protection. You don't need any armor under these wings. You are safe there. Always. What else is here? I was being pulled again to the to the world card and this message keeps on on um echoing in my head it's important for you to know that you are completing something it's very important for you to know that because what you have been through already you are almost anticipating on the fact that it might get even worse or it might never stop but it's really important for you to understand that you are really completing something or that something is completed. And I was being pulled to that and, and asking myself, should I repeat this question? But I pulled another card and this is the happy family. So this is really something so very different wants to open up for you. These doors that are around you. And it's the happy family. It's the, 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 the ultimate fulfillment the change, the shift from what you have lived before into what you're going to live now. So be open to that. And the only thing you have to do now in this moment is to remind you of your warrior and of your strength and to embody that. One more here, and then I'm going to leave you with this. It was 29, 29, 29 now. And when I looked at first, it was 29, 19. So this is, again, now four times. Endings, endings, endings. And also the world, I didn't see that. It's 29. It's card 29. So there is really something ending for you. And... The fact that this is ending for you, because not every ending 
is welcomed, but for you it's really a big welcome that this is ending. Patience. <sighs> Patience. Let me pull one more with this one. I feel in here that your patience has really been tested. Which makes complete sense. And also this feeling of it's never going to end. Archangel Ariel. With the sacral chakra. One more here. Anxiety. What else is here? Archangel Gabriel with the fifth chakra. Why does this come out like this? What I feel here is with the patience, with the sacral chakra, with the throat chakra, anxiety. It's like This is what is completing. And there is a big healing that is taking place in your sacral chakra and in your throat chakra. Not only there, but this completion has a big effect on these two areas, which is your expression and sacral, it's your sexuality, it's your emotions, it's your um, receiving is also in here. Let me clarify, of, or let me pull one more on this. Oh, well, that's the one, that's the one I was looking for, the sun. So this is, I wanted to clarify, is this really ending? Is, is it that? Is that what's ending? And it is. This is your, your feeling of being tested, all your challenges, all these difficult emotions that you had to go through, all this um, maybe not being able to, to express your authenticity Whatever that means for you, but there is something something very specifically around your throat chakra also that is that is um, healing through this completion, which means you have worked on that. And then the sacral is what I mainly feel in here is a lot of difficult emotions that you went through, but also the shift into being able now to receive and this being able now to express yourself in your full authenticity the sun and the happy family this is what you are moving into whatever doors are around you that want to open for you they all carry an energy of the happy family and the sun which are, in this deck, the most happiest cards in the deck. So this is, this is beautiful. This is very bright, what is on the other side of this. So, my dear beautiful soul, wherever you are now, tap into that warrior of you and tap into your strength. You did not come this far to give up now. You got this. Everyone is cheering you on. Find your strength and find that warrior. And be open for the doors that want to open up for you. Because they are loaded with sunshine and with fulfillment. Okay, my dear beautiful souls, this is what I have for you. I hope this was helpful. I hope you enjoy the reading and I'm sending lots of love, lots of light, lots of peace and, and strength, I wanted to say, and strength and blessings for each and every one.